Hello, this is Ear Trash, and this is part three of my dubstep tutorial series. If you haven't seen part one and two, then please click the annotations on the screen now, and I'll take you there. I'd like to thank everybody who's been rating the videos and commenting and such. So far on both tutorials, we've got about 50 likes so far. So could you please remember to rate this video? In this tutorial, I'm going to get started on making our baseline. So I'm going to make a new MIDI track by right clicking and insert MIDI track. And I'm going to double click operator. If you don't have operator, you can use any oscillator. You could use like a, a freeware one. And I'll put a link in the description to a site that you can get loads of free synths from. On our operator, we've got four oscillators. On the first oscillator, I'm going to go to the wave here and change it to a triangle. On the second one, I'm going to change it to a square. And on the third one, I'm going to change it to noise. I'm going to put the level of this one up about three quarters, and this one up about a quarter, or a third. So now we should have a sound like this. So I'm going to press Z on my keyboard to take it down an octave. And another octave. Okay. And I'm also going to select the filter, put the resonance up to about seven and leave the frequency there just now. Now I'm going to go to my effects and I'm going to select Redux. Double click it. And now we should have a Redux. And now I'm just going to play about with the with the parameters on this Redux until I get a nice sound. Well, not a nice sound, a f***ing sick sound. And now I'm going to go back to my filter and I'm going to play about with this frequency knob here. And you can see that there's like a sweet spot between 198Hz and around about 1.5kHz. So I'm going to just play about with that again. So by now you can probably kind of tell what sound I'm going for. It's quite a popular sound in modern day dubstep. And as you can see here, I've opened up my automation lane for the frequency on this. And I'm just going to observe this line here and see where it goes to. So it's going from about here to about here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in a line by double clicking there and double clicking there. Now when I play a note on my keyboard and press play on this, we should get a feel of what it's going to sound like. Okay, so now I'm going to put in a MIDI note, I could record it, or what I'm going to do now is just insert MIDI clip and program in a note. And that sounds okay, so I'm just going to remove the rest of the clip. And that is pretty much our sound. Um, I'm going to now put in a little bit of reverb and take off the... And I'm just going to adjust the param parameters in this. Again, I'm going to go to my quality and I'm going to put it on high. I'm going to take the stereo right down because it's a bass sound and I don't like my bass uh, being too stereo. I'm going to take the delay right down to zero and the diffuse down and the dry wet down. I'm just wanting a very subtle reverb here, so I don't want to overdo it. I'm also going to take the diffusion network down a bit on the high end. This is your low frequencies, this is your high frequencies. And let's see what that sounds like now. That's still a bit too much reverb, so I'm going to take it down a bit. We don't really want to even hear the reverb, we just wanted to slightly improve the sound quality. Yeah. And also I'm going to put in a bit of 
delay. So I'm going to double click ping pong delay. And I just took down the dry weight and the feedback a bit there as well. So I'm going to leave it at that for this video. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to go over making different bass sounds. I'm going to add in another operator. So I'll click the screen here to take you to the next video. And as always, please remember to rate this video and favorite it and all that jazz. So I'll see you on the next video. Yeah.